DMs look here trying to enter the craft war before time runs out and everyone's already voted. Um, I have a tendency to rattle on, so I'm going to try and talk a little faster than I normally do. I turn Castle Ravenloft into a 3D board game. Everything fits inside that big tote and this box right here. Uh, first setting up, um, I changed everything to like card based and tactile pieces. I started thinking if this was an intro game and you just wanted somebody to sit down and start playing D&D, &D, what would be like the basic, most rudimentary things that they would need? And I tried to boil the experience down for that. One big thing is, it's a pretty abstract game, right? 300 rules, takes place in your head. Most people don't even use any of the stuff that we do. But that's not as fun, right? So, have the binder, potions, and these are all Pathfinder cards, so everything matches. I have everything sleeved and double-backed. Magical items, treasure. Treasure is also going by cleric, rogue, fighters, whoop, fighters. Where are my fighters? <laughs> Fighters, do, 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 do. and wizards, yeah, there you go. The game also has these different event attack cards, so when you have a monster, you run it. I took leveling up instead of just being first and second level like the game has. I take everybody up through level five, and each time you level up, you get to pick a card. You start off with a base weapon. Level one, it's a gimme, but then you kind of start deciding what powers you want for the next levels. We'll get into the markers here in a second. Get the idea. Uh, boon cards. Just in case somebody does something cool. Also was playing with one person and they were like, hey, it's my birthday, do I get anything special? I said, sure, pick a card. This for Castle Ravenloft are all these just different kind of weird item cards. And these are not in the game. I just have these drop out of a hole in the ceiling at the beginning of the game. And the players can pick them and we just develop the story together. Moving on to the people. Clerics. These are all just um, Reaper Bones painted up from the Kickstarter. And each character is going to get a D20, a D6. These are these little uh, bejeweled tokens that I painted up. These are for their health surges. Everything in the game has washers on the back, so it's weighted and it feels a little heavier. Uh, gemstones for counting your health points. And movement sticks for spell casting. And how far you can go. There's a dragonborn fighter, little female dwarf, elven wizard, dragonborn. He was a little mod, had to cut off a, a lizard man head and glue it on a wizard, human wizard's body. And thieves, halfling, half orc, human. Condition markers. These are my little nifty magnetic doohickeys, so they pop in there. This way, everybody knows where they are on the floor. And that's not very good. There we go. Immobilized, dazed, poisoned. Me, on my end, here's my dice. Uh, these are for the XP. Uh, these are for your powers. You get three turns on everything. Just basic treasure cards that the game offered that were already pretty good. And a combat board. All right. On the level one. 